Right, you're watching TVC Breakfast. It's time for us to look at the headlines across Nigerian newspapers. And to make sense of all of this, I have Obani Akinwale here. Good morning. Good, Good to morning. see you. Pleasure. Welcome. And I also have Dr. Dayo Kayode here. Good morning. It's my pleasure being Good here. To see Good you. morning. Great. Nice to see you now, let's begin right away. Daily Times is where we start from. Daily Times says, petrol scarcity, federal government appeals to Nigerians to be patient. <clears throat> says it's looking for lasting solutions to scarcity of PMS. All right. Northern Group demands sack of NNPC top officials, threatens mass action. That's what Daily Times has. The Nation newspaper. Governors meet today over new APC convention date. A party to set agenda for tomorrow's talks with uh, President Buhari and Congress is to hold in zones. Right. That's what uh, the Nation newspaper has. And then the Leadership newspaper says the five days to go pmb apc governors take crucial decision on convention tomorrow aspirants stakeholders kick against governors anointed chairmanship candidate all right that's a leadership newspaper blueprint says apc national convention that's a blueprint uncertainty as a party awaits buhari on al makura mustafa musa akume now, these are all different uh, gladiators in the in the you know in the run-up and build-up to the chairmanship you know uh, position nigerian tribune is next six days to apc convention uncertainty over delegates list consensus unity list won't be acceptable to buhari mustafa is saying this and concerned aspirants ask party leadership to postpone convention All right the Punch newspaper is next. Convention, APC battles consensus crisis as uh, Buhari governors meet uh, Tuesday. State chapters confirm readiness, await Buni's signal, and chairmanship aspirant laments uh, planned postponement. All right, all that on the front page of The Punch. First news is talking about 2023. Nobody can intimidate me, says uh, Tinubu is quoted as saying there. Uh, 2023. Uh, nobody can intimidate me, says Tinubu. That's what is quoted there. From there, let's go to Daily Sun. Abakari, others in fresh drug deal scandal, fingered in disappearance of three billionaire worth of tramadol. <coughs> right? Uh, that's the Daily Sun there. From there, let's go to Daily Trust. Eight months after abduction, 13 Yari schools, uh, school girls married off to bandits. Uh, three pregnant students released to parents. Over 10 captives still with abductors uh, were working for their release. Uh, I guess that quotation is coming from government. I believe we'll talk about this as we get along. National Economy says growing youth unemployment may set Nigeria back five decades. Analysts say lack of plan to uh, constructively engage youth is disastrous. All right, that's uh, another issue. All right, th this Nigeria is next. As economic hardship bites harder, young Nigerians plot exit from country. Upsurge in uh, number of youth seeking greener pastures abroad. Uh, there's total failure on social contract by the political class. These are all issues that we could look at on the program today. Now, Nigeria News Direct, mixed reactions, trail a 100% increment in domestic airlines fares. Least economy tickets to be sold 50,000 naira effective next week. So the least uh, economy class will be 50,000 50, naira. That's what the thing says. Business AM, negative oil sector growth, real uh, growth, real threat to revenue targets. That's what it says. And Business Day says projects in Nigeria gulped trillions with little results. That's what Business Day has. And then Abuja and Kwara, no gate to FCTA, release December allocation for our salaries. Hold your council chairs allocation with them. That's the FCT is uh, saying that to Nogi, Nigeria Union of Local Government Employees. Okay, uh, gentlemen, let's, uh, the two things I'd like us to talk about. The issue of the youth, you know, youth unemployment and hardship, and then... This issue, the story on the front page of the Daily Trust that talks about uh, uh, students being abducted, some being married off to bandits and all of that, really troubling. But let's start with uh, this issue. National Economy says growing youth unemployment may set Nigeria back five decades. And I say 
lack of plan to uh, constructively engage youths, disastrous. If you relate that also to the story on this Nigeria, economic hardship bites harder, young Nigerians plot exit from country. Me, you go to uh, embassies and consulates of countries in Nigeria, whether Abuja or Lagos or wherever, mm -hmm. you will see Family human beings, human beings, you know, looking, looking for visas to Japa. To Japa. <laughs> <laughs> that was. Mm -hmm. okay. So, so I, 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 I don't know whether they have us flash that headline again. And I think the, the national economic editor needed to do a recaption because said growing youth unemployment mm -hmm. may set Nigeria back by five decades. Mm -hmm. I think it was supposed to be growing youth unemployment set Nigeria back already by five decades. Okay. So or, they, already said not may really. they actually contradict the reality on mm -hmm. ground. Uh, I remember uh, having to having to have a, a no 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 we should have used that we already we already back by fifty years or let me say we already uh, yes we all clamor for these uh, uh, independence mm -hmm. from the from Union Jack from British but we, are, we would not pray for this independence from poverty from illiteracy from unemployment for what they now call neo colonization or what you call knowledge drain from the third world country so. Uh, it, for me, it's not, it's not a headline issue. It's a reality that we are back by 50 years. And when you look at that, uh, those that are the hem of affairs today all enjoy free education. Uh, I remember one of, one of our senior colleagues, uh, Mr. Lukma Musa, used to tell me that Niji, if you want to travel to London, it's just for you to go to the airport, get your ticket, and go in and come out. Mm. So you now ask yourself, even for you to travel to Ghana or to Benin Republic, the gendarme at the Benin Republic will ask you, where are you coming from? Where is your echo was, uh, let's say, per se, mm. to, to cross the border? So why are we saying the, the army of youth? Then you look at the, the reality of our past sector in the last 30 years. Dunlop has located uh, all, all manufacturing companies in Nigeria generally created their own power system. There is no road. The standard of living is very poor. Uh, the bank will ask you to bring a first class to come and do a job of a contract after two years turn them around and ask them to reemploy again. You have a lot of job agencies that turn people around every six months. Then we are now saying may set back, mm. which you actually said has already set us back. And immediately they have Brexit. It's supposed to be, it's, it's supposed not to be Brexit. It's supposed to be an entry. Nentry is supposed to be Nigeria enter. Because what you find out is that immediately they <laughs> rang the bell of Brexit. If you see the number of medical doctors that have left this country, if you look at the number of people that are from 30, 30 or even 25 to 40 that are now going to UK, Canada, US to do masters, so they say, and they will now pack their family along with them, you know that we have not been set back five we, are, we may not. It is the reality. Mm. And if you look at the rate at which employers turn around the number of staff, how companies are crumbling every day. We've just been told now that airline will now start going for 50,000 mm -hmm. naira. That's the least. They said the aviation fuel is about 420 per liter. And we are planning to do, either we like it or not. Mm. I've, I've passed over the weekend, I, I ran through some length of the country. And I discovered that it's only possibly in Lagos, Ibadan. Some areas in Abuja. When you get to other part of this country, first are sold as high as 250, 300, That's 400. True. So the headline is supposed to be we are already 50 years We're, behind. All right. Not we may. That's, <laughs> after, that's the reality we have on ground. <laughs> that's your idea. Yes. Okay. Now, uh, Kari, uh, Dr. Kari, I wonder what you make of this because this is actually troubling. Cast your mind back to 2020 at the end, SARS, uh, you know, protest and all of that. You see the reaction of, of Nigerian youths to these issues and so on. It tells you that a lot of people don't have the confidence of where or the direction of where we're going collectively, you know, as, as one people. The way in the 70s and 80s, every Nigerian had the, there was this Nigerian dream. We didn't know what the Nigerian dream was. Maybe there was no, whatever the thing is. But at that time, there was that hope that, we're going somewhere. Mm. You see, uh, much as I want to agree with uh, my brother there, we need to also understand the trajectory. Okay. I were able to get to where we are. I remember 1978, hmm. one Naira was going for one pound. Then less than one Naira, I think about 70 Kobo, was going to for one dollar. Hmm. I can also remember when I got admission to the University of Ibadan, 
The following week, I got the same admission to University of Pennsylvania in the U.S. And I showed my dad. All he told me was, look, it's lazy people that goes abroad to go and read. And which is true. <laughs> Do you understand? At that time. Mo yeah. At that time, most of our mates then that couldn't make school sat were the ones that are traveling abroad. Okay? Look at where we are today. I could also remember, even when we have long holidays, during my A-levels, okay, I was, play, I was playing long tennis for, for on those states, so I went for camping. At the same time, I got a job with Ministry of Finance. I don't know whether you're holiday job. So, and, hey, tell me, how will I be so idle then? And that is also to so many other people. You have them, you have industries, you have factories, you have a lot of mm. things that you we, can we remember always... Bata. We remember Bata. Bata. Uh, so many, Bata. Lenas. Yeah, Lenas, Lenas, Lenas. Exactly. Michelin, you know, Michelin and so on. And so and so all many that. of them. They were all there. Mm. My brother, what happened along the line? I will tell you. Lack of planlessness. Nothing like planning again. I also remember that was first National Development Plan, mm -hmm. which brought up a lot of infrastructure. Second National Development Plan, five years ago. Mm -hmm. Third National Development Plan, fourth. The thing now stopped. Why? Along the line again, you now find out that all government came. No, let me mention the name. You now decide to deal with the civil servants. To do with the civil servants. The civil servants now open their eyes. Eh, any other person can come and deal with us anyhow. And that's where the, the issue of grabbing started. The issue of what comes to me first started. And then Nigeria, at that point, that nose diving started also. Now, look at where we are today. Now, come back to our youth. Go to the streets. Of this area alone, this uh, K2 axis, go and see how many able bodied youths, graduates, university graduates, polytechnic graduates, uh, college education graduates that are now sitting down drinking paraga because they don't have anywhere to go. And you just see them in five stands discussing issues that are highly inconsequential to development. Now, where do they go from here? That is another angle. Two, what are the roles of parents these days? To what extent are they trying to inculcate better ideas into these youths and ensure, <coughs> and ensure that their energy, their energy mm. are being driven towards productive uh, areas. Okay. So these are issues that we need to put together to be able to solve this problem. All right. We'll, we'll go on a break and when we come back, we'll see you know, areas of uh, way forward for all of this, if they can be uh, at this time. Because it, as far as me is concerned, we are back five decades. You know, already. Uh, already. already. Oh, but we don't need to look <laughs> at how we can reverse. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. How we can go back, uh, yeah. you know, 50 yeah. years ahead. Mm -hmm. You're watching TVC Breakfast. We're looking at headlines across Nigerian newspapers. And I have with me Obani Akinwale here, as well as Dr. Dayo Karide, helping us to make sense of some of the headlines across Nigerian newspapers. Now, we were looking at the national economy, as well as this Nigeria. Two papers, you know, turning our attention to the issues around youth and youth development uh, or unemployment, whichever way. Uh, that you see it. Uh, Obani, the, this issue has been, like we, both of you have analyzed, mm -hmm. these are realities that mm -hmm. we are faced with. Mm -hmm. As much as you have said that we are already back five decades, mm, already. if we have to look for way forward now, mm. how far from where we are supposed to be are we? So, uh, 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 there's an adage that says that uh, when an elderly person falls down, mm. It looks backward. 
But when a child falls down, it looks old. Because the elderly person wants to see what must have tripped me. Mm. But the younger one wants to continue to forge their head without looking at what will cause the trip because there is tendency of making the same obstacle on the way. Mm. So we ask ourselves uh, in Professor Shiba Palace, how did we get to where we are today? Mm. And how do we go to where we are today is as a result of kind of leadership and the family system that we have. Uh, <clears throat> what, uh, what idea... As much as we want to borrow different kind of economics, we want to be a global player, what works in Brussels might not work in Lagos mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. it's a different terrain, it's a different way of money. Yes, economic principles are, are globally general, but in terms of how you domesticate those mm. principles, the peculiarities, it, 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 it is very peculiar. And we, we have gone this way before where there is a uh, elderly competition within the regions. Yes, I am not an advocate of being ethnic or whatever, but we have seen it how the West was able to develop itself using the cocoa, the farm system. Mm. We have seen how the East was able to leverage on the palm oil. The man uh, from Abia today, the slocker man, we know how they got his money from oil, uh, from palm oil, and we saw how they not build a pyramid of, of granite. Mm. So, if those system works, and all those days, kudos to agencies like MAMSA, NOAA, mm. that will say, Tax is compulsory. Our people in the village knows that whatever you are doing, irrespective of what your job is, you, if you are a taxable, if you have a taxable income, you must remit your tax back to the government. But what do we have now? You have a family system whereby a father and the mother leave home by 5 a.m., gives their children to house help if they have or domestic aid, get back at home at 10 p.m. Now, who tells those child the value system? Now, you have a system whereby everybody wants to have a quick rape syndrome. You see, all those things we watch in those days of Arelu, sorry to use this kind of example. Now, you see small boys now trying to do Yahoo, 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 Yahoo is not working again. He becomes Yahoo Plus, he's not working again. He becomes uh, Yahoo Plus Plus. Yahoo Plus Plus. <laughs> it was an aquatic <laughs> and hand. So, everybody wants to go Benzema. Now, what do we need to do as a nation is that we need to retrace our step back. Hmm. And there is no nation across the world that develop a system without putting proper infrastructure in place. See, as much as I want to whip, uh, flog this current administration, I said this to people that, imagine 16 years ago, we can only provide stable power supply for Lagos, Portacourt, Abuja, Kano, and Kaduna. We will not be where we are today. Mm. Imagine we already have the Ajaokuta, Kano, Kaduna gas pipeline in the last 16 years, we are not going to be where we are today. Imagine the rail system that I know a lot of our father that were in Ghana, and they call them Baba Ghana or Baba Kano, because they travel through the rail system, call it locomotive, call it arcade. They were able to move Grand North, move Kola North, across what we have now. Imagine a situation whereby if I bring a car home and my parents know where I'm working, the first question they will ask me is, where did you get this mm. money? But now it's no longer there. It's to go on social media and say, I've just bought a Jeep for my father. Mm. And my father is not asking me, what work are you doing in Lagos to bring this Jeep home? So it, 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 it's, a, it's a society that we're... First of all, as citizens, we need to ask ourselves, are we sincere? I, will, I remember in 2019 election, one of my friends along the street, and I said, can you help me vote for this candidate? He said, oh God, if I'm going to vote for this person, give me 1,000. Mm. So if you have a candidate that believes that after at every election poll is 1,000 naira, you continue to get this kind of leadership. If you have this sort of, okay, whereby their polling station is on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and when during the election date, they only give you updates that this has happened in so place, without going to exercise their PVC right, there is a problem. Mm. So youth, 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 the youthfulness, the, how do we get our independence? How old was our lower? How yeah, old was our taller? Yeah. How old was the narrow? All and they're creative thinkers. Yes, we do have creative thinkers. Give it to guys like Patricia, the guys that have been doing a lot of things in fintech. Yeah. But if you have crux of our youth waiting for the crumbs from the table, you want to continue to follow an Almagiri system whereby somebody must be rich and God has best best for you to feed on that person. We will continue. We have not, we have not seen anything new. And just like uh, Baba Ulo was said, he said, the children of the poor will fail to teach. Mm. They will come back. And that is why we are seeing Boko Haram, ritual killers, oh, yeah. armed robbery, oh, kidnapping. Yeah. And the, higher, the earlier we tame it from the family system, mm. the better for the, the country. All right. <coughs> now, uh, stemming from what he said, the issue there is, 
we have had a perfect system before. So it's not like we're going somewhere to manufacture something and bring. We have had a perfect system before, whether it is government systems, whether it is family systems, whether it is economic system and all of that. In the First Republic was a good model that we had used in this country. Everybody was happy. Everybody was moving towards a direction that is developmental, politically, economically, socially, culturally, whatever the thing is. So what's the way forward? Um, you see, it's good that you said that. And in economics, that's what we call law of diminishing return. Hmm. When that law of diminishing return arises, then that means is a, there is a crisis. And then when you understand crisis as part of development, then you'll be able to know how to solve that crisis point and then come back to rising, uh, 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 how to go back to the horizon again. Hmm. And again, also, we have to understand that drowning, it's not you falling inside the water. But drowning is when you refuse to swim yourself out of that water you are falling into. Mm. Now, Nigeria, either you like it or not, is in a crisis position. Do we understand, do we all understand and see crisis as part of development? It is only when we see crisis as part of development that, like somebody, I was chatting with somebody yesterday, and he was telling me, that oh, this thing you are doing is very ideal. It's highly overwhelming. I say, yes, it could be. But should we say because it is highly overwhelming, we now stay where we are? Mm. He say, ah, Okwomo. Do you understand? I, was, I mean, he was just speaking in uh, Ikiti dialect, you know? So what I'm saying is, yes, our problem could be there. It could be so big. But we should understand that a thousand miles journey yeah. starts with a solitary step. With a step. Let us start solving this problem mm. one after the other, especially, right. especially by being sincere mm. in our activities right. and then directing the energy of our youth towards positive direction. All right. We, we look forward to that. Uh, uh, we, in fact, we look forward to that change where leaders who are responsible Parents who are responsible will say, enough is enough. We need to change this whole Please thing. Please define that and change. Mm -hmm. No, change in the context <laughs> of <what>? transformation <laughs> from, <laughs> from <laughs> where <laughs> we are right now <laughs> to, to where we need to be. <laughs> no, we need to define <laughs> change very well. <laughs> okay. It's no, not no, a PC change from change. <laughs> no, no, that is not change. That is change. They will change it from change to progressive. Yeah, yeah. So if it's anyway, progress, <laughs> so we need to progress. I'm happy that the word change is not English word. We need to progress. Thank you so much for coming. On the so program, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you for right.